Good afternoon, y'all. What's up? This is Joe here at Mad Dave Saboon coming at you today with another video on battery safety. So I know we've got a few in here that we've already done on battery safety, but I cannot impress upon anybody who uses views this video how important battery safety is, which is why we're doing another one. Because just this week, Efren and I, we've had five different people come in with highly unsafe batteries. So I just want to go over a few general points, uh, some of the easiest to spot. Uh, so batteries really are the most important part to vaping. Um, they pose the most danger to any vapor. Um, and they're really not that expensive. So if you have to replace them every six months or a year, it's, it, sh it shouldn't be the end of the world. Try to allot for it because vaping with a battery like this is highly dangerous. We literally got this from somebody about an hour ago. They were using this in mod. Now, <clears throat> so with batteries, you have your positive and your negative. And then you have an insulator, which is not here on this one, but if you look at this one, see that insulator, that white wrap? That's very important. That's insulating the positive from the rest of the battery. Um, and then you can also tell, see how this has the wrap all the way around the edge? This does not. There's parts of the edge that are showing. There's a big chunk of it right there. And you can see that there is no insulator. So. Batteries have to have insulators. Have to, absolutely have to, must have insulators. So when you start seeing your battery chipping away, you can see little spots on it starting to get chipped up. Get it, go to a shop that rewraps batteries or go buy new batteries because this can cause serious issues. They can short out. It can cause your mod to fry. If you're on un unregulated, it could be even worse. So that is one of the most common things we see is batteries like this, people using and saying, well, it's just a battery. It's not a big deal. It's just a battery. What can it do? This, this battery has 20 amps inside of it. 20, and it can burst, most likely burst even higher. I haven't checked Mooch's battery rating on the LG2s, but uh, it could probably burst higher than 20. It takes 0.75 to kill a normal person. Uh, on top, there's just, just so many issues that can come from it. So always check your batteries. Make sure that your batteries, and here I have a new one just to show you. Brand new battery. Tight wrap all around. There's no scratches anywhere. The wrap is completely sealed. The insulator is on. Make sure your batteries look like this. Always. The second your battery starts to look, like the other, the other one wasn't too bad. Like you can start seeing a little bit of scratching on the bottom. You really want to fix that. Uh, but your biggest concern is the positive. Um, which this one's not too bad, but you can see the wrap starting to get eaten away. I know my camera is not the greatest quality. I apologize. Let me see if I can fix that. There we go. Eh, it still doesn't help. I got you. Watch this. Technology. Oh, I didn't do it. Come on. Ah, you get the point. Um, so when your wraps start looking and you're getting close to this, you need to immediately stop using this battery. You need to set this battery aside. Don't throw it in your pocket. Don't throw it in your cup holder. Don't throw it in your change drawer. Set this battery aside. If you have a case, get a case. And either take it to a shop and get it rewrapped so it looks like this. Or throw it away. But recycle. Don't just throw it in your trash. Uh, these batteries do have to be recycled in a very specific manner. Please don't just chuck them in your trash can. Uh, we already have a lot of environmental problems as it is. We don't need another one. Another issue is punctures and bad, just off-brand batteries. So you can see this one, you might be able to see, you can see the indentation from the glare. Uh, this battery's got multiple punctures on it. That is very unsafe. That's like one of the worst things you could do to a battery. Uh, also, the bottom is starting to be caved in, very bad. And for the piece of resistance, button top. So, Button tops are not needed anymore. Button tops were big back when people used unregulated mech mods with hybrid tops, meaning they didn't have a contact and this touched straight into your RDA and you needed a button top. You don't need a button top. Don't put a button top in a regulated. It's gonna push the contact into the chip, cause issues or bust the contact. Uh, on top of that, this is a BS battery. Excuse my language, but these are flashlight batteries. There is a massive, massive difference from a vape battery to a flashlight battery these are both flashlight batteries vape battery big difference now to the average person 
there's really not obviously there's noticeable noticeable differences but that could be brand um this thing is like paper there's no weight to it at all it's very light compared to this one which is a little bit heavier uh both of which are horrible for mods when you are buying batteries online if you see one that says ultra fire don't buy it if you see one that says ebl don't buy it these are made for flashlights they have very high battery life but they have no amperage you need amperage for your mod so it's, it can actually be very dangerous so when you're buying batteries make sure you buy from a verified source buy from a store or if you're going to go online because of course the deals are better make sure you are buying from a verified source this is the most important part to vaping the most important thing so always buy verified batteries try to stay sony samsung lg that's usually what i tell people just stay in those three they're big companies they put a lot of money into this they produce good products buy their batteries spend the extra two or three dollars it's totally worth it it is absolutely worth it uh always make sure you're buying from reputable sources make sure that you have your insulator and not just bare metal and don't ever just chuck them in your pocket keep them in a safe carrying case or in a plastic carrying case or in your mod don't just chuck batteries in your pocket you're just asking for severious third degree burns severious it's a mix between severe and serious anyway i hope this was helpful if you have any questions especially on battery safety please contact us. We will answer them. All right. Y'all have a good day.